So this was a great subversion of expectations. We get introduced to Isekai scum, but on the flip side, they escalate at the appropriate moment. Because keep in mind, this is now episode 6. Whatever the source material does, and if it was more brutal up to this point, whatever it is, I don't really care. I like how the anime handled this, because it's been, it's been comfy with like a little element of, you know, serious in the background. The past few episodes, there's always been like a couple of minutes, usually near the end of the episode, that kind of made it seem like, ooh, this is getting a little more spicy. I mean, the characters we thought we had to worry about were literally going to do God knows what to the girls and steal and kill for abilities. I saw some people last week say that they thought it was Haruka who ended up killing the delinquents because of the hooded, uh, the, you couldn't see the face, they're like, oh, you know, maybe he's in the woods saving them. I didn't like that idea personally because, one, we knew there was someone with the delinquents because, like, two episodes back, I think it was, I think it was around episode four, maybe it was five, but I think it was four, um, there was someone who, like, gave, like, a devious smile and had a hood on. So to me, it's like, oh, it was the dude traveling with the delinquents. Why he decided to kill them, God only knows, but that's the direction I thought they were going. Getting the reveal, it was actually the dude who I thought was getting bullied and picked on at the very start of the show, and he had this whole plan this whole time, and now it's going to be Haruka versus him. That's going to be very exciting because we could be at a turning point where our MC's actually going to have to kill. Do I think he will? To be honest, probably not, but that's a whole big-ass discussion we'll get to later. But either way, it's probably going to be a turning point for his character, and I'm kind of excited for that. Of course, I have full live reactions, though, over on Patreon. If you want to see my full and thought to any of this loner life in another world, it's over there exclusively. So, the thing about a character like Haruka is, whatever the source material does, I, I like I said, I don't care that the anime is apparently lighter in tone. I like what the anime is doing because Haruka as a character is a very fun MC, but at the same time... You know, he's an MC who probably will have to get his hands dirty eventually. But do I think it's this moment? I'm not sure. I'm kind of half expecting that they're going to have this big epic battle and the dude will end up dead because he trips off a cliff or something falls on him, but like not a direct landed blow. Because at the end of the day, this dude, I don't think there's a prison. And if there is a prison, then I guess he'll be locked in prison for a bit. But at the same time, you know, Hark as an MC has now learned that this man killed all of the delinquents would have killed all the jocks the only reason the jocks are alive is because he wanted to leave them alive so that they would lead him to class rep and then therefore he could take the hijack skill so he's not a good person this seemingly is a kill or be killed world but at the same time not everyone's waiting to be a school shooter this man was i mean he very much quickly adjusted to being able to kill people does a boy like Haruka look like he could just flip a switch and probably kill people? I don't think so, and I think that's what makes him a, a nice guy, like a genuinely good dude. But if his life's in danger and his life starts flashing before his eyes, I could understand why he would have to stab a fool. And I think if they write it like that, it's going to keep Haruka as this rootable MC, but at the same time not make him feel like an edgelord psychopath. Which is why, I think too, I was a little hesitant on saying that it was our boy killing all them, because... Do I see the potential for him to do that to protect people? Sure, but the dude in question last week seemed a little too, uh, I wouldn't say like it made it seem like he enjoyed it, but it seemed like it was a little too easy to cut off heads and probably about to slice down everyone else. So I think they're doing a good job, and honestly, they do set our boy up for success, because uh, previously we lost all of our money by combining everything and having to use up all of our funds. Turns out, it was a good weapon we ended up getting because of all the skills, but we also get a little more spending money. We get an ID so we can go to and from the gate without issues anymore. But still, like, there's a lot of, like, little things I'm excited for, and that's why, like, too, I don't want to turn Harka into a guy who's, like, has to go into that edge phase because now he's like, I took a life, now I have to be super serious. Because... If he does come and have to kill this dude, right, I don't see how a character like him just goes back to who he was previous. So it's kind of an, it's a turning point. One way or another, this will be a turning point for his character. And I don't think the author would be ready to completely change him yet, but I could see how he might have to over time. Because I think a big part of the charm of this show is that at face value, I'm a loner, I want to be alone in this world, but when people are in trouble, I come to their aid because I'm a decent guy. Taking a life is not something that's easy, and I think 
that's the impression I'm getting from this show is that it's a very night and day difference between how the delinquents or the scumbag are handling it versus, you know, the jocks who, yeah, probably would have put up a fight and would have killed to protect. But, you know, and we could have a similar situation. Haruka having to kill this guy, but doing it more in self-defense and feeling guilty after. I could see something like that. But at the same time, I don't know. The anime might have different ideas. Either way, the dude's scum. Like, I didn't get the impression at all. Granted, we haven't really seen him a lot. But when the delinquents had him, like, in a headlock, I didn't get the impression that, oh, like, this dude was a mastermind. The fact that it was all bullshit from minute one and was using this whole situation, like, he had plans to be a scumbag from basically second one he was in this world. I'm 100% convinced. Not a good dude. Probably should be killed ASAP. I just don't know if Haruko would be the one to do it. It's very clear, though, that Class Rep and the others will be coming in as what they hope to be reinforcements, but I feel like might get in the way, which is a little worrisome, because if they do end up coming and then he takes them as hostages, that could be how this escalates. I don't know, but I'm hoping our boy can finish this whole thing before them. He does end up taking care of, like, a pretty cool monster design. It was, like, level 50. I did not get the impression that was a goblin. If anything, it looked more like a Pokemon, but that's just me. Cool design, though. Takes it out, bumps up a couple levels, so he goes from level 9 to 11. The leveling system for him is definitely very broken in comparison to others, I think. Because, I mean, he does not fight, like, a uh, rank 9 or a level 9. Like, the shit he's got going on, and, you know, the, what I always liked about the show in the early stages is how they did, like, he has weak skills at face value, but the combination of all those weak skills creates more powerful skills, and we really see that in execution in this episode. And he does do some training, and I think it will come in clutch. I expect him to win. It's just the aftermath of dealing with what is essentially Isekai scum does have me scratch my head saying, does he kill? Is it going to be self-defense? Is he going to make the active decision to put this dude six feet under? Is he going to restrain him, throw him in jail? So, I mean, we do have a good relationship with the daughter of the town we're in. There's probably a jail cell, so they could go that direction. But either way... It definitely broke expectations and defied expectations, and I think the way they handle episode 7 maybe would be a make it or break it for some people if they feel like this guy just gets a pat on the back and sent on his way. I don't see them doing that, especially with how many people have already been cut down in this show, but your guess is as good as mine and where they're going to go next. But uh, let me know what you're thinking down below. Definitely still enjoying this show a lot. Very, very fun, and the episodes just fly by just like that. Let me know your feelings. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're around here, of course, ring that bell. And like I mentioned, we have those full live reactions over on Patreon. And hey, while you're over there, I'll give you a video shout out. So today we got Monty 7, Perrin, Buonake, Monica Luzuria, Kyle Kolachuk, Hunter D. Lupin, Charlie Collings, and we also have Zeno, so I appreciate the support. Please take care, and you all have a good one.